happy Monday, February 19th. Uh, today is family day and we're actually closed. I hope everyone had a safe and enjoyable long weekend. I'd like to thank PKHBA's corporate sponsors, Enbridge, Reliance, Enercare, RBC, PBNC, DSB, and Cortha Cottage Country Magazine. Uh, we had an amazing dinner last week with uh, Chris Magwood speaking about carbon and building. He is running Builders for Climate Action and he shared his the BEAM tool that builders can use to see how much embodied carbon is in the products they're using and how easy it is to actually reduce your carbon footprint by changing up some products. Uh, the summary of that is in our newsletter. Uh, CHBA sent out their newsletter last week and you can see their housing market index and their transition strategy to build the 5.8 million homes that we need across Canada over the next 10 years. Uh, the construction statistics for the month of January shows there was a 10% decrease compared to the previous year. The uh, interest rates are continuing to keep new housing starts down. And uh, our Housing Design Awards are coming up on April 25th. Uh, you can actually buy tickets already at the PKHBA Awards website and the submissions are open until March 1st. So get your submissions in. You've got two weeks left and if you have any questions please let me know. Uh, for the municipal updates, the City of Cortha Lakes has a council meeting on Tuesday. The City of Peterborough has a committee of adjustment meeting on Wednesday and the city is actually hosting an open house at City Hall on Sunday, February 25th. The County of Peterborough has a land division meeting on Tuesday and their County Council is on Wednesday. I'm actually speaking at Council on Wednesday about the Ontario Energy Board and how we need less costs for natural gas to get more housing built.